Hey guys, it's Adrian over BHA here bringing you a new video. Now I did mention this one in my last status update video for uh, I guess the start of April. But this is uh, controlling your uh, LG WebOS TV uh, with Home Assistant. Now it's not to be confused with the older version of the LG TVs which was Netcast. Uh, that setup's a little bit different and that's a different component altogether. But this will control the newer TVs uh, that are running their WebOS version of their uh, TV operating system. Uh, I mean, you have a lot of functionality as far as being able to control the television itself, and uh, we can even send notifications to it, which we're going to learn how to do that as well. So, pretty cool. Let's check it out. I want to thank everybody uh, that wished me a happy birthday today. Uh, I really appreciate it. Turning 40 in the middle of a pandemic kind of sucks. You can't really do anything, but uh, hey, I'm healthy. Plus, once you get older, uh, you know, birthdays don't really do much anymore anyway. Again, I hope everybody is uh, staying safe. Make sure you're performing social distancing and staying home when you don't have to get out. All right, so uh, let's do a quick run through of everything we're going to cover in this video. For starters, of course, we're going to add the WebOS TV component uh, to our configuration.yaml file. Once you add that component and, of course, restart Home Assistant, then we will have to follow instructions in the little notification section on the side of the uh, Home Assistant web interface. Once that is done, then we're going to uh, create some test scripts uh, just to show you how you can uh, control that TV from Home Assistant. Then, of course, I'll show you how that uh, works in action. Next, we're going to create some test scripts uh, just to send notifications or alerts to the TV, uh, which you will be able to use with the automations and whatever you want from Home Assistant. And then, of course, we'll uh, lastly show you what those notifications look like in action as well. Let's get started. All right, so this first part's pretty simple. It's just adding that WebOS TV uh, component into our configuration.yaml. Uh, the name of the component is uh, WebOS TV. For starters, you're going to want to make sure that you have a static IP set up for this television. This component works uh, based solely on the IP address of that TV. So if the IP address changes on that TV, then of course this component will lose connection uh, with that TV and of course you'll have to add it again. So for the host it'll be the IP address of that TV that's 10.10.10.131 for me. I'm going to give it a name say bedroom TV. Now I'm going to give it a turn on action because I want to be able to turn it on from Home Assistant as well. The way we're going to do that is we're going to use wake on LAN uh, for the service, so it'll be wake underscore on underscore lan dot send underscore magic underscore packet. And then under data, all we need to do is list out the MAC address of that uh, network interface on that TV. And you have the ability to customize it as well. I'm going to add in a source. I really only have one source connected to that TV. Uh, right now, which is my Apple TV. Uh, I know I don't really need uh, an Apple TV when I have the web OS on the television itself, but uh, the Apple TV, of course, just works so much better with my iPhone and stuff and other Apple devices. It just makes it so much easier. So for the source, I'm just going to add in, uh, I think it's like my first HDMI input, but I'm going to call it Apple TV because that's how I have it set up on my television. Uh, once we do that, we're going to go ahead and save it. We're going to jump over to the web interface here. We'll do a check config, make sure everything looks good, and then of course restart Home Assistant for these changes to take. Give that a second to come back up. All right, so here we are. Uh, on the left here is my web interface for Home Assistant. On the right, of course, is the TV itself. Basically, it's going to come up in the notification section here, and uh, under the little configurator, it'll have me uh, configure my bedroom TV, because that's the name I gave it for that component. 
We'll hit, uh, we'll hit configure. A little pop-up comes up and says start pairing request. We'll click on that. And then, of course, you'll see a notification pop up on the TV saying uh, there's a connection request. Do you accept it? We'll say yes. And then, of course, a little pop up will go away. And that's it. It is now added into Home Assistant. Pretty cool. All right, so we're going to create some test scripts just to show you some things that you can do as far as controlling that uh, TV from Home Assistant. So I'm just going to edit my little test scripts.yaml file here that I have set up for testing and stuff. Find an open spot down here. I'm going to create two scripts, one for volume up, one for volume down, just to kind of give you an idea of what you can do. I'm going to call this test underscore TV underscore vol up for volume up. Uh, alias, we'll say test volume up. For the service, it's going to be uh, webostv.button. Under data, we just need to list out the entity ID for that uh, TV, which is media underscore player dot bedroom underscore TV, because that's the name of the component. We have to list the name of the button, which for this uh, volume up is just volume up all one word all caps and we're going to do the same thing for volume down as well so uh, create a second script here test underscore tv underscore vol down uh, we'll say the alias is test volume down and again i'm going to have all this in the description below so you can copy and paste it and tweak it and play around with it for the service again it's webostv.button We'll list out the entity ID again, which is media underscore player dot bedroom underscore TV. And then, of course, for the button again, it's volume down, no spaces, all caps. Once we have all that in there, we'll go ahead and save it. And then we're going to jump over to that web interface again. We'll do a check config to make sure everything still looks good. And then we're just going to, instead of rebooting this time, we're just going to reload scripts. And that's it. Let's jump over to the next step and see it in action. All right, so here we are again on the left. I have the two buttons that I set up in the uh, web interface of Home Assistant. And, of course, on the right is the television itself. So we'll just hit those. And as you can see... Uh, the volume is going up and down on the TV. I mean, it's a pretty simple little deal, but obviously you get the idea. There's tons of other functions that are available for that television, so uh, you get the idea of what all you can do with it and what all controls you can set up. So pretty cool little feature. All right, now for the cool one that I really like, which is uh, setting up some notification scripts so we can actually send notifications to the TV. So basically, the way I have mine set up is uh, if I have the TV on and I am uh, back in the bedroom and somebody opens uh, one of the doors, the exterior doors in the house, a little pop-up on the little TV comes up and shows which door was open. So it's kind of cool. A little automation, just an idea of what you can do. Uh, with this uh, with this configuration here, but we're going to create a little test script. So we'll uh, go down here below the other two scripts we just set up, and we'll say test underscore TV underscore notify. Uh, for the alias, I'm just going to say test TV notification. Now this one's a little bit different. For the service, this time it's going to be notify dot bedroom underscore TV. That's set up whenever you create this WebOS TV component, so you don't have to do anything else there. And then I'm just going to give it a message. So we'll say, hello world. And that's pretty much it. We'll go ahead and save it. And then again, we're going to jump over to Home Assistant. We'll do a check config just to make sure everything is good. And then we're going to reload scripts again. All right, we should be ready to go into this last step. All 
All right, so again, here we have uh, on the left, we have Home Assistant uh, with that little test uh, script that I created. On the right is the TV. We'll hit Execute. Boom. As you can see on the top corner there of the TV, it says Hello World. And, I mean, it's pretty responsive. You can see it happens almost immediately, so it's pretty cool. That's it, guys. That is the end of this video. It was a super simple video for the most part. Uh, I mean, there's a few steps here, but all of them are very simple, pretty easy to set up, and you kind of get the idea of the things that you could do uh, with those different test scripts and everything, so it's a pretty cool little deal. Let's do a quick run-through of everything we covered in this video. So, of course, uh, we started out by just adding that WebOS TV component uh, into our configuration.yaml. Uh, once we did that, we uh, followed instructions uh, on the little notification section on uh, configuring it with the TV and accepting it on everything on the television. Then we uh, created some test scripts uh, for control, just to show you how that works. And, uh, of course, we saw that in action. Once all that was done, we created some test scripts for notifications. And then lastly, of course, I showed you what that looks like in action. Again, that's the end of the video, guys. I uh, hope you liked the video. Um, like I said, it's not hard to set up, um, and it really doesn't take that long once you kind of get going. But you get the idea of some of the things that you can do with it, so it's pretty cool. Again, I want to thank everyone for the donations and stuff that people have donated through my Buy Me a Copy link. I really appreciate it. Every little bit helps. If you like the video, please subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions or comments, hit me up in the comments below. As always, if there are any videos out there that you would like to see that I don't already have out there, let me know in the comments as well, and I'll see if I can't get something put together for you. Otherwise, I'll see you guys around. Thanks.